Good morning, everyone. Thanks for connecting with me again today for Coffee in the Word. That time, like always, we examine a verse or two from God's Word, and then we apply it to our lives so we can become a little more like Jesus today than we were yesterday. Let's get that cup and get going. We're continuing our thoughts uh, on wisdom, a little bit different uh, perspective this morning, so listen carefully. It's entitled, More Than an Argument. Ecclesiastes 1 and verse 2 says, Vanity or vanity, literally meaningless or meaningless, says the teacher, utterly meaningless. And then Jesus said in Matthew 27 and verse 46, as he cried from the cross about three in the afternoon, he cried out in a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, which means my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? The more we take God out of the picture, the more we will feel things are meaningless. Genesis 3, 16 through 19 tells us that the dissatisfaction and boredom are a part of the punishment for sin. And the rest of the Bible tells us that if we die alienated from God, we live forever in eternity experiencing utter meaningless and endless terrible spiritual thirst. What is our hope in the face of all of this? Ecclesiastes gives us provocative philosophical reasoning. But God does not merely give us an argument. When on the cross, Jesus cried out, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? He was experiencing the cosmic meaninglessness of having no life in his, no God in his life. Jesus was taking our curse for us. He was getting the infinite futility our lives would deserve so we could be forgiven and embraced by God. Through faith in Jesus, you can lead a God-centered life. You can know that every action is a way to honor Him, and every event is part of His good plan for you. So, everything matters. Jesus claims to be the Good Shepherd. What valleys of shadow are you facing where you need Him to be by your side? Lord, you suffered in the dark for me so that I could live in the light. You experienced cosmic futility so that what I do now counts forever. How can I love and praise you enough? I can't, but help me to start. Be blessed and have a grace-filled day.